Good morning everybody. Welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name's Karen and I'm here today to carry on working on the Fox Journal. So um, since I last saw you, I have arranged the pages. I've just um, wrapped the fabric round to get an idea of what the cover's going to look like because I was trying to uh, choose an image for the front. It's a really dull day here today um, after all the glorious sunshine we've had recently. So I have got the lights on overhead, so I hope it's OK light wise um, and there's not too many shadows or reflections or anything. So um, I've, I've pulled all my pages together now and arranged them. So this is what we've got so far. And I've just um, the Mrs. Cog um, pictures that I showed you. I've cut out and just sort of, I haven't stuck anything down. I've just thrown them in <laughs> where I think they're going to go um, because I'm going to stitch those on the machine and I can't do that on camera. <clears throat> so I just thought I would show you, you know, how far I've got so far. And the, as you can see, the book pages that I included, I've um, torn them down to fit the height of the journal and then I've just folded each page in so that you can still see all the pictures and everything by turning them out. So that's how I've got so far. Then today I was going to come on and make the cover with you, but um, last night I watched a video um, from Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and she did a really cool thing with um, making holes in her pages. <clears throat> which sounds a bit weird and a picture poking through and I thought because foxes are all you know quite cunning and sly I like the idea of um having foxes sort of peeking round corners or <clears throat> like the the um you know where I've printed those images I've popped them down at the corners so they're sort of not immediately obvious I can't uh, like this so they're sort of sneaking onto the page. That's the idea. Um, so I liked the idea of having holes in the pages with a fox peeking through. So I thought we'd have a go at that today. Now I need three pages to make this work. And I thought um, I would use just my tea dyed pages where I've got three in a row, because if it goes horribly wrong, I can easily replace the tea dyed pages. Um, I mean, I can easily replace any of these really, but the tea dyed pages are the easiest to replace. So I think I will pull out these three pages from this spot here and we'll work on those. And the reason I'm hesitant about whether this will work apart from questioning my own artistic abilities, of course, which we all do. Um, she, because she was tearing a hole in her page, she had the brilliant idea of using um, a water brush, you know, like you do with napkin, to wet the area that she wanted to tear to make it easier to tear. Now I don't have a water brush and I don't have any sort of fine brushes so um, the brushes I've got are quite wide and I don't want to put that much water on my page because I'll end up, I'll just end up ruining it, ruining it. So my tear is going to be fairly organic. <laughs> and then depending on how the tear works, I was looking through to try and find a picture to poke through. This will all make sense when you see what I'm doing. Um, and I thought he looked quite you know, like he's sneaking up, um, he's being a sly fox. So I thought he might work peeking through the hole. Um, and then I've got this chap that's on a tag. Um, he's quite nice. So, and I was looking through um, some other places to try and find some more images. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have had my pot of tea this morning, so I don't know why my voice is so croaky, but it is. I've got these, I've got loads of these books with all um, the old tea cards and cigarette cards in. 
and I was hoping that I'd have a card with a fox on, but I can't find one. All I've got is this image on the cover, which is not right for what I want. And these little fox cubs here on the actual page, which is not really, although they are peeking out of their little hole. So, but because they're not colorful, I don't think that's what I want. Um, but other than that, I'm just double checking that I haven't missed a picture of a fox, you know, a card. Um, I'm really surprised that there's not a fox in here, a, you know, a card with a fox on. And I know I haven't used um, a fox card. There's, I, I can't even see a space, you know, where there should be a fox card. So I've got a fox's footprint there, but obviously that's not right for what's one. So there's foxes on the covers and on the pages, but there's not actually a fox tea card. So that's a bit sad. But then I, I also have this um, nature yearbook. You've probably seen this before. And I thought there might be foxes in here, but the only place there's a fox in here is here, a fox in winter. So it seems to be a theme here because they're in the snow and they're in the snow. So we've got a lot of foxes in winter. Um, but he's looking down. So um, he wouldn't be, you know, looking up through the hole. So he's not right either. So it's going to have to be one of those ones I've already found. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and tear a hole in this page. So I'm going to start off just with my scissors. Wish me luck. I'm going to poke a hole here. I'm just going to cut randomly outwards. And I'm going to start tearing. And I'm going to start off by trying not to tear too big. Because we can always make it bigger but we can't make it smaller. So, and as I said, I'm not gonna try and do a circle or an oval or anything. I'm just literally going to tear an organic shape. Um, and we'll see how we go. So I hope everybody is well. As I said, it's very, very dull here today, considering Yesterday was the longest day. We're in the middle of June. Um, it's a bit odd. <laughs> so now straight away, I've done something wrong because the first hole has to be the biggest hole, not the smallest hole. So already I need to make that bigger. You'll see what I'm talking about as I get further along. Um, yeah, so it feels like, I mean, it doesn't feel like winter here today because it's still quite mild, but it looks like winter outside. And it's that horrible, fine, drizzly rain. It's horrible. <laughs> and I've got a machine load of bedding that I washed overnight waiting to go out on the line this morning because it was so glorious yesterday. Absolutely baking yesterday. Couldn't even walk the dogs. It was far too hot all day, even like eight o'clock yesterday evening, it was still sort of in the high 70s, which is uh, <laughs> in the mid 20s, I would guess. I'm not very good on converting figures. Right, so that's my first hole. And then my second hole in the next page has got to be smaller than that. So, Let's have a go at that. And if I try and tear it, leaving the first page there, I will see what I'm doing. So it's going to be, it's like a little porthole and it sort of makes it 3D. And I thought the idea is, you know, it reminds me of a fox's hole that they'd be peeking out from or, you know, maybe they're looking into. 
we could be looking into a rabbit hole. If I had that fox that was looking down on the on the top page, he could be looking down into the hole. But I didn't want that. I wanted a little fox sort of poking out of the hole. So you probably can't see this very well on camera because the pages are similar colours, but when I um, ink round them. So if we get this little chap back, and we'll see what he looks like poking out of the hole. So that's not bad. And let's have a look at this chap and see what he will look like. Hmm, I don't know which I prefer. I think I prefer the other one because um, I don't like the fact you can see the lines on the edge of the um, tag there. Get down, Bonnie. Both of you, get down. Sorry, the dogs are playing up. They know I'm filming. So they've got up onto the sofas to look out the window. They're so naughty. Right, so now I just need to decide whether my second hole is big enough or whether that will do. I think that will probably do because that will give space to put some decoration around here. So the first thing I'll do is if I just um, ink around those edges, then you'll be able to see more clearly what I've done. And I've got my brand new um, Distress Ink here, my, my vintage photo that I've been waiting to start using. So I hope it's not too juicy. Let's have a go on that side. So I'm sorry this this is a tricky angle. Oh, it's probably better if I just take it up and do it, isn't it? And you can see what's going on. So that's the, the bigger hole on the first page. And then this is the smaller hole on the second page. I might just tear that pokey bit out. And I thought using that picture, I might have to make this um, a bit snowy. But because this hole is little um, and you can just see part of the fox, I mean, you may not be able to tell that it's a snowy scene. So I might be able to use something prettier around it to add a bit of colour. So if I put these back together now, you'll be able to see what I've done. So this is how it's going to work. So I'm going to pop this chap here. I'm saying chap, it might be a might be a lady fox. I don't know. So I'm not sure if I'm too far away from the camera, but I've tried to position it so I don't keep knocking it. That's how it's going to look. So then I need things around here to decorate and it does you can still see the snow does that matter does it matter if i mix snow and not snowy things i don't know now i need what i need now is some things to decorate i thought i'd pulled everything out i need but i don't have those backgroundy pages from the rest of those kits. Bear with me a sec. I'm just I'm still here. I'm just grabbing some other pages. The rest of those pages that I've printed out from all those kits. Um, so let's pop that up there. Let's have a look and see if there's anything in here that I want to use. Um, I should have done this before I came on, but I wasn't sure what I wanted. Um, I think I want sort of something flowery around it, but um, maybe the mushrooms would work, but I think they're too big. Although they might be quite good. I'm just going to cut some random stuff out. So 
see if I fussy cut those. Maybe on that page. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, look, that looks a bit wintry. That hanging thing up there, that at the top. Hanging thing, that's the technical term. All right, Max, we know you're there. Obviously, these need to be fussy cut properly, but that could go at the top somewhere. Um, let's see what else we've got. Ah, we could have something that the fox is peeking at, couldn't we? You know, like the pheasant or the stag. These were all just printed on um, ATGSM copy paper. Um, because I knew I wouldn't be using these for anything. would be huge wouldn't it in comparison <clears throat> so I didn't really have a plan I say so I want I knew I wanted to try this today but I didn't I couldn't really visualize exactly what I wanted so um I thought I'd come and do it, I'll share the process with you, my, you know, my thought process. Um, I said before, some people find this boring when you're just rummaging and muttering, but some people enjoy seeing how people work. So if I've got it on film, you know, you've got the option to watch or not in the nicest possible way. I'm not being rude saying that. Um, but if I don't film it and put it up, you haven't got the choice, have you? So, that scale would be wrong, that would be far too big. Um, as you can see, these kits that I've just been looking through, this one and this one are from the Digital Collage Club. Um, this one is called Vintage Forest Junk Journal, and I will have to. F I bought that from Etsy, so I will have to find the link for that. And this is called Forest Wonderland Journal Kit. Again, that's on Etsy. I will have to find the link for it. Oh, that's quite cute with the little bunny there. Let's just take that page out. Oops. I'm just looking at, you know, scale and... I didn't look at these. these he, would, he would have been quite nice poking through the hole, wouldn't they? Oh, he's cute as well. That's actually on the cover of one of the um, signatures, but printed full page. These were just, I just ran, put, printed these out as they were. Um, I quite like to see them on paper when I'm choosing what I'm going to use, trying to see them on screen. I'm not very good at visualising 
uh, what's what. So right, I've got a few little things there that I can play with. So I will just pause you for a moment while I try and fussy cut these and I'll be back in a sec. I'm back again. I've cut a few things out. Um, and I think this is what I want to go with. Um, these need to be up here because they were sort of a hanging branch of a tree so they can hang there and then these I want these for a bit of colour um, so maybe if I tuck these in here tuck these two in here so they're over there and then pop these on this side how does that look? Yeah, I think that's all right to start off with. So uh, I need to glue these down now and um, I need to attach the pages so that it's all one thing. I'm just deciding whether I want to ink all these bits or whether I want them to sort of blend in. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm also deciding whether this hole, this second hole should be a bit bigger. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Let's try moving him down a little bit. Just fiddling about. Hello, I'm sorry about that. Had a phone call there and it um, obviously cut the camera off um, because the phone call came through. So anyway, I'm back again. I'm going to, I'm going to go with this because I feel like I'm going to be faffing around forever. Otherwise, um, trying to, you know, it's, I'm just overthinking it. So I've got a new glue here, so I'm just um, fiddling about with that as well. And I've made a mess already and I don't have a wipeout. Oh, there's one. Right, so I'm going to start sticking these down um, where I want them. So what I'm going to do... Oh, let's see. <laughs> I've moved everything already. I'm just going to... I'm just going to put a dab of glue on each thing to hold it in place and then I'm going to glue everything, all the pages together um, when I've got these roughly where I want them. Um, I just want to hold everything in place roughly where it is for the time being because I think I'm quite happy or as happy as I'm going to be <laughs> with that placement she says now moving everything again where is Mr Fox going to go don't want him too close to the other two because um, yeah I want him to be sneaky so, right I think that's okay like that so it's just oh, moving it as I'm lifting it up them there. 
hope you're not finding this too tedious. <laughs> but if you are, you've probably switched off by now. <laughs> I would imagine. Yeah, I thought if I, if I come back to this, if I walk away and come back to it, I can always add a bit more round here, you know, and I'll probably have more idea then of um, what I would actually like. So now, shall I cut this fox picture down? I'd have to go beyond there. So I'm going to lose that fox's tail anyway. Oh yeah, it does. I do need to cut it down because it goes past the fold. So I'm going to need... Let's grab a pencil so I'm... Those my pencil case now. <laughs> I've got so much stuff on my table, it's ridiculous. Um, right, so if I mark here, I know it's got to be cut past there. And if I mark here, I know it can't go beyond there. So let's cut that down a bit. Right, they're all fixed, so let's get the pages lined up like that. Let's cut Mr. Fox down. Now, now I can't see my pencil marks. I, I know it can't go beyond there, so let's... Sorry, Mr. Fox, cutting you in half. Hopefully that should be... Okay, so pop him there. So let's pop some glue on to hold him in place. I feel like um, Barbara didn't quite make such a meal of this <laughs> as I'm doing. Right, right now they're all where they're going to be. So now I've got to stick my pages together and um, glue down the rest of these bits. have started um, decided they want to start playing with their noisy toys right now I'm going to pop some glue around here I'm not going right up to the edge because I just thought I may run this through the machine on this page just to finish it off a bit and give it a little extra zhuzh. So that's that. So yeah, I think I will um, leave that to dry and then I will stitch around this page just to hold everything together and I think it will um, Give it a nice finishing touch and then I will that will also help me decide if I need anything else in that gap between the two um, holes the little port holes right so obviously the page is crinkled there where the glue is but that hopefully that will um, disappear when it's dried 
pop the lid on there. So let's pop it back into the signature and see how it looks. Um, so this is where it was going to go. That is now going to be moved somewhere else. So that went in there like that. So should we have a quick look through this signature and see how it's looking? So we've got our first page and this is the first signature in the book. Um, so that's going to be on as a pocket somewhere. Um, it may not be in this half, it may be on the, the second page. I've added in some um, packaging paper into each signature as you can see just to give it a bit more texture and interest. Then we've got our note pages. And again, this will be a, a pocket somewhere either on this, in this half or the next, and all be in the first half of the signature, obviously. So that will be our centre. Oh, that's quite nice. I didn't realise that I was opposite this page. So that is actually, I think that balances quite well. So I'm quite pleased with how that's looking at the moment. Um, as I say, it does need to dry and hopefully, you know, these wrinkles will even out um, and I will stitch that half of those three pages together. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that quite pleased with how that's turned out so I hope you um, found that interesting I'm sorry if it was a bit waffly and long-winded but that is how I work I do um, procrastinate and uh, you know fiddle about so um, I hope you found that useful thank you for joining me today um, I will be back again with some more for this journal uh probably the next one will be making the cover but i'm not 100 percent certain yet might make some more ephemera while i'm in the mood <laughs> so thanks for joining me today take care and i will see you all again in a couple of days bye bye